Before we begin, we should note that Vuex isn't the recommended state management system. We're adding it here because it's likely that you're still going to find Vuex in existing projects. The newer version of Vuex is called Pina, and we'll cover it once we get to Vite and the script setup. Vuex with the Composition API works the same as with Options, the only difference is how we get a reference to the store. For this lesson's examples, you'll need a basic view app with the Vuex package installed. As an aside, you can grab the code examples in the written version of this lesson, linked in the description below. To keep things simple, we'll hold the entire Vuex store in the main.js file and the functionality in the root app component. The store has a counter property that can be returned with a getter. We use a mutation that can accept a payload to increment the counter and an action to commit the mutation. In the root app component, we have a button that dispatches the increment action. We also track and render the counter with a computed property. If we run the example and click the button, the counter increases by 1. When we refer to the store in the options API, we use the special store instance variable. To get that reference in the composition API, Vuex gives us the useStore method that we import from the Vuex package. Once we have the reference, we can replace all instances of the store variable. Everything else about Vuex works the same, it's just our reference that changes. To demonstrate, let's start by importing useStore. Then we'll delete the methods option and replace it with setup. Inside it, we'll create a new store reference and use it inside a function to dispatch the increment action we have in the store. Next up is the computed property, so let's import it at the top and remove the option. Then, we'll use the computed method and let it return the getCounter getter. If we run the example in the browser, everything still works and the counter increments. Alright, that's it for Vuex. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to replace mixins with composables. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.